Hi, so I did a terrible job at vlogging for this one since I was having some family time and I was a bit shy to vlog so I'm going to have to narrate for a bit but yeah, let's get on with it. So the first night that I arrived, my family picked me up from the airport and took me to a lobster place because for some reason my family really likes to treat each other to lobster when there's overseas guests. Um, which I kind of love because I do love lobster. The next morning and every morning after that, they had such good food takeaway for me and were just taking really good care of me. So thank you, thank you again if you're watching. My uncle dropped me off downtown to check out a place to rent. Here's a lobby and this is me waiting. After that, I went down to good old Dundas Square and walked around the shops all more as they say. Found some nice chocolate and bought that. Then he took us to a fish and chip shop on the way home which was so good. And now I'll let um, past me or present self at the time do the talking. Does that make sense? Not really. Okay. I'm having such a dilemma right now, so I have about five minutes. Well, it's probably not that exact or strict um, to decide if I want to take the apartment or not. And I only just looked at it today. But I'm recording this to kind of see if I can come up with conclusion basically um yeah i saw the apartment today and it wasn't as nice as the pictures for sure but it was very basic and decent modern um convenient location so i've never rented a place i've never moved out of my house before so i'm like am i being scammed is this a good idea and to be honest i haven't really looked into other places that much yet this was kind of the first one that I got to actually see it's with two other females I just don't like that I had to decide right now because she has another offer I'm like is she just pressuring me I don't know because it's working <laughs> but yeah I don't know I don't know how I feel because there's no like lounge area either because the den or the other girl is there so I don't know I really don't know I bought this for my cousin Vivian because she just announced that she's pregnant and this is like a mug warmer for babies or something so she can put their little baby bottles on it or something at Costco because Mary's mom really likes to come here <laughs> even though it's kind of similar pretty much the same oh, yeah. really <laughs> it's so pink holy last minute I had to do it now and I'm a bit bummed out because they told me it could take two months so I'll update I'm going to be renting a place from June which is next month so if I'm like renting here and I don't have a job I might be a bit bored and running a more money but yeah I'm excited but also a little nervous because um, I found out Facebook marketplace and I'm like Scare me please but yeah I am glad I found a place 
I thought and I was hoping that it was all coming together but after hearing that the biometrics thing might take two, up to two months to process and they're still doing a backlog of January and February and it's already May now it's a little bit like worrying because I didn't want to stay here too long just because you know I'm, I am a bit scared of losing my relationships with you know, my friends, family, boyfriend but I think it'll be fine I think I've established a good relationship with I just don't want to be missing out on too much back at home, so. Yeah, it's hard, but I feel like everything in the end um, on this trip, all the mistakes I've made in the end, they come together. And they ended up working out anyway, so I am hoping that that is what happens again. I feel like I have been quite lucky on this trip, even though I made a lot of hiccups. In the end, it's always worked out, even though like put me back a bit yeah and I just it just made me realize that I am actually capable and um, to look back on two weeks it's like wow so I can sleep on my own I can do my own laundry but even though I did my own laundry I left tissues in there twice <laughs> so all my clothes came out all fluffy and stuff but uh, I was just like oops and then I did it again but yeah, I don't really care, I just fluff it out and I'm surviving and it's good and it's yeah, a big difference coming to Toronto because I've been so well looked after by my family I appreciate it so much they've been so accommodating they're taking me everywhere and stuff like, and like feeding me really, really well and yeah, just being really good I do feel a little bit homesick every now and then though but um yeah, I talked to my sister last night and she said my dad said even though I've been gone for two weeks, it feels like I've been gone for a month already and what's it going to be like when I'm gone for five months? And it makes me a bit sad and that's kind of why I've been avoiding calling them as well but also because of the time zones. I just don't want to get sad and I just want to keep going forward and I feel bad leaving them and things and I want them to miss me so much. I thought that wouldn't make a huge difference because I'm never really home anyways or I'm only home 50% of the time or yeah I don't know but yeah we keep going because I don't know if I could ever do this again once well I could but it's just not going to be as easy as now. Time's just a little better at the moment so that's why we do this just living our bestest life. So my uncle's going to pick me up at one of the stations but I am now at Union Station. Let's see what it looks like. Have the VIAs here as well which is um, where you can actually go to the other cities. It took me a while to get on the subway. Maple leaf. <laughs> no, I yeah, smell it. Oh, you can really spell it. I don't know if that's my fault. <laughs> we have hot suckers. This one, but you have to roll it yourself, kind of thing. Yeah. So there's the instructions there. You peel off the side of the plastic, and then you roll the rest. Kind of toggle it over, uh, and then you just take it out. Oh. Okay, like slide it in, yeah, and roll it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's really crispy. Yeah. Yeah. Roll it, it's going to be soggy. Yeah. So they usually leave it in the same. Yeah, it's still a little crispy. Yeah, that's different. Is that rice or udon? This is rice. This is rice. And if you don't have enough, there's extra. Ooh. We have souffle. This is a matcha and tiramisu. Let's eat. <laughs> so jiggly. I'm at Service Canada again today to get my SIN number, but I couldn't even get it yet, anyways, because I don't actually have my real permit. Oh my gosh, I look like I just woke up, but. Um, it's just another thing to worry about, but turns out they're going to send me the permit to my address. 
which is in Australia that I've left already. So now I need to call them up and apparently it's really hard to get them to send it here. So, I don't know. This is your street. <laughs> yeah, that's where you live. <laughs> Imagine you go to a, a, a no, no man's no man's street. We are in Momo. It's all the tour. <laughs> we have mochi. mochi. And we had egg tarts. They look so sticky. For free. <laughs> free rapid test. <laughs> oh, yeah, rapid. We are on Union View and it has all these old houses. <laughs> so cute. The second movie is all have you watched Gilmore Girls? Yeah. Oh, you know about it? Yeah. They, they filmed it here. Ah, oh, so really? Yeah. Oh, cool. So it's Unionville. It's like a historical... I forgot to record. It's all gone. <laughs> Thumbs out, buns out. <laughs> I lost them. <clears throat> Where'd she go? Oh. So I'm guessing we're going in a freezer igloo. <laughs> side of Niagara Falls, which in comparison is a smaller waterfall that lies far to the left of the Horseshoe Falls and is located between Prospect Point and Luna Island. 
According to scientific study and historical research, it has been concluded that the American Falls will eventually transform into a succession of descending rapids due to natural forces of erosion. The height of the American Falls stands at 180 feet or 56 meters high, above, reducing the erosion of Niagara Falls, and to this day. <laughs> Where's my light show? 20 minutes later. Oops. So magical.